Welcome back to part two of our Colorado Adventure 2017. We transitioned to our new spot and the rain came through. It produced a nice double rainbow and of course some wind. One thing you can count on in Colorado is scenery and weather. First morning at this new spot, it's really foggy. We both manage a couple shots, but don't bring anything home. So, back to camp for breakfast. I'm kind of good. That afternoon we go out, and after a while these three fly by and I got to take a crack at them. I was fortunate enough to hit one. So a couple minutes later, Phil and I go back and we go get my bird. It's right behind me. Um, good solid shot. And we realize the geese are still coming up. So we go run back into our spot and I get a little out of control. Phil keeps his cool and he takes one out of the sky. You can see it here in the top right of the screen. So we each got a goose that afternoon. Couldn't ask for more. And next morning we head out and any shot opportunity I had, I missed everything. Right here, Phil gets a duck down. So I'm seeing this goose coming at me into the wind, real hard wind. He's flying really slow and I can't believe he's on track to come straight at me. I'm thinking I'm about to be gifted a goose right on at me. What do I do? Miss two shots and go click on the third. You gotta be kidding me. Bill, what'd you get this morning? I'm not sure. Pretty duck. So now it's off to our fourth location. Guys, we're done with the waterfowl hunting and we're headed east to shoot some prairie dogs. We'll see you later. We've seen a bunch of those today. Wonder why they're out on the road like they are in number. I don't know, but they need a sign crossing. Yeah. I wish he'd turn around and go the other way. <laughs> into camp, it's time for some prairie dogs. Over. You didn't mean that I went. Watch this. That's a good hit. Update Facebook. Check.
It's morning time now, and we're just going to get after some prairie dogs. <laughs> I'm not 100%. Oh my god. 168. Do you know where you're going to hold? I'm going to give him a few in. Just a skosh. Spot for you. Okay. He's just laying up there. You on him? Yeah. Oh my word. Chris has been a great week. This is our fourth camping spot. We're going to wrap up a very successful trip at Comanche Grasslands. Probably one of the prettiest places on earth. What a fitting end to a wonderful eight days in the wild. It's been a great trip, Chris. Yes, it was a great trip. You know, last year we had a good time in, in Redneck Triple Crown. We got, last year we got uh, a couple fish. Miriam's turkey and prairie dogs. We had a blast. This year, duck, goose, and prairie dogs. So, great time. We're steaming for next year. I think we're going to trim back everything we're trying to do. Instead of trying to do four or five different things, we're just going to concentrate on maybe uh, waterfowl and see if we can just do a little bit better job at it, figure out what the birds are doing. But who knows? Birds do what they want. I hope you enjoyed some of these snippets from our 2017 adventure. Here's last year's Redneck Triple Crown. Here's part one if you missed it. And give us a subscribe. We'd appreciate it.